In a recent breakthrough, the James Webb Telescope has captured images of six galaxies that are among the oldest ever seen. These pictures have shocked astrophysicists by showing galaxies that are much more developed than they were thought to be at the beginning of time. This discovery could rewrite a lot of astrophysics textbooks and change our understanding of the universe. To get some expert insight into this discovery, NBC reporter reached out to the legendary theoretical physicist, Michio Kaku, who is known for his writings on the cosmos. He discussed the possibility that the universe could be older than we previously thought, which could challenge the theories presented in his books. The implications of this discovery are immense and will likely spark a new wave of research and theories in the field of astrophysics. The James Webb Telescope continues to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and reminds us that there is still so much we have yet to learn. In addition to the groundbreaking discovery made by the James Webb Telescope, scientists have recently found a new layer within the Earth's interior. This discovery could lead to new breakthroughs, including the potential to predict earthquakes before they occur. The world of science is constantly evolving, and these two discoveries are just the latest examples of how our understanding of the universe and our own planet is constantly being challenged and expanded. As Michio Kaku explains in his interview with NBC, the implications of these findings could be far-reaching and could change the way we think about the world around us. So, stay tuned to see what new revelations emerge from these exciting developments. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Some people say it's an optical illusion. You see, according to Einstein, gravity can act like glass. The glass, of course, you can make a magnifying glass. With gravity, you too can bend space and time to create a gravity microwave, I mean, a magnifying lens. So you think that these galaxies are huge when they're actually baby galaxies. Now, I personally think that the solution to the problem is these are not baby galaxies at all. They're actually monstrous black holes. Black holes that formed after the instant of creation that's baffling scientists because they don't fit in the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. <laughs> You're saying that these galaxies, these six galaxies that look kind of like galaxies are, are actually black holes? That's one theory, because we think that at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, there is a, a raging black hole that is two to three million times more massive than our sun. In fact, we now believe that at the center of almost every galaxy in the universe, there's a monstrous black hole that could be millions to billions of times more massive than our own sun. Apparently, we just discovered that there's a, a fifth layer of our planet deep inside of Earth's core. What kind of knowledge do you think that could potentially unlock? Well, you know, when you see the tragedy in Turkey and Syria, you ask yourself a simple question. Why don't we know what's underneath our feet? We've been to the moon. We've been to Mars. Our probes have gone past Jupiter. How come we don't know what's at the center of the Earth? Well, here is a clue. Think of a sonogram. A sonogram shoots vibrations into the womb of a pregnant woman. The vibrations then create echoes that can be analyzed to create a picture of the unborn child. Well, we can now think about sonogramming the Earth. An earthquake generates all sorts of vibrations that echo, ricochet inside the Earth, allowing us to recreate an image of the center of the Earth. And we find some enormously interesting things. We find, for example, that the core of the Earth spins, but the crust of the Earth can spin in the opposite direction. 
So these layers underneath our own feet can actually rotate in opposite directions. And we used to think they were four layers, like the, the crust and the mantle, four layers inside the earth. Recently, we picked up evidence of a fifth, a fifth layer at the very center of the earth. So we're now basically sonogramming the earth. And maybe, just maybe one day, we'll be able to use artificial intelligence and supercomputers to tease apart these echoes so that we can get earthquake prediction. We're not there yet, but think about it. We could save the lives of thousands of people if we could somehow take these echoes, run them through a computer, create a map of the inside of the earth, and predict when the next earthquake would hit.